right now it is the best weather to check out one of our best attractions here in San Antonio. We're talking about the San Antonio Zoo. There is a lot going on there this weekend, including an egg hunt on Easter Sunday, as well as some other events coming up. We're joined here today with Kyle Perez and Christine Barron. Beringer? Beringer. Yep. Okay. <laughs> they brought some animals for us to meet, but right now we just have the owl. Who do we have here today? This here is Twig, and he is our eastern screech owl. And I know he looks teeny tiny. Everyone is always like, oh my gosh, it's a baby, but he is not. He is full grown. Wow. He is actually 23 years old. Wow. So how long does he live? So it depends. Um, in nature, you know, teens and 20s is definitely possible. He's in professional care. He's got some of, you know, best stuff, best veterinarians, everything. So he'll be with us for a long time. He is so cool. What does he eat, out of curiosity? So they are carnivores. Mm -hmm. um, Twig's personal favorite is mice. He thinks those are the best. Oh. Um, but they're going to be eating mice, small lizards, and actually insects. So being a smaller owl, they're going to be preying on a lot of smaller things so they're not in competition with the bigger owls. Oh, wow. How much does he weigh? He weighs uh, a couple ounces, like, right? He's so yeah, tiny. Yeah, he's teeny tiny. He is less than a quarter of a pound. Look at him. He's so chill. He's just, uh, is it past his bedtime? Owls are nocturnal, right? <laughs> they are. Twig here, though, he is a trained professional. Okay. So uh, he has been living and working with us at the zoo for most of his life, over 20 years. So uh, that's part of why every day when we go in, you know, uh -huh. we ask him if he's ready to come out. If he says, no, today's the day I'm going to sleep in, he gets to sleep in. He's going to call the shot. But today he was up and ready to go, and we're so happy we were able to bring him with us. All right, very cool. And in fairness, you guys also brought a snake, but I have a serious <laughs> snake phobia, so they were being nice to me by not bringing him out. Mm -hmm. Who was, uh, what's the name of the snake you guys brought? Uh, we brought Suki, our Honduran milk snake. Okay. But Suki's fine just hanging out off we didn't camera, hurt his feelings? very relaxed. No, okay. doesn't take it personal at Good. all. Mm -hmm. Let's talk about what we've got going on uh, Easter weekend, Kyle. Totally. So we have our big extravaganza, and so there are egg hunts that we have going on, but you can also meet the Easter Bunny when you come by. So there's going to be a lot of photo ops and a lot of fun, but a lot of candy too, so make sure you're ready for some sugar. Uh, we also have Zoo La La to talk about, right? Coming up in May? Absolutely. It is the biggest and I would say the wildest party of the year. It is so much fun. Everybody anticipates it. It's everyone's favorite foodie event. But we have around 2,000, 3,000 people that come by, over 50 top tier restaurants. Wow. It's really amazing. And this year we're bringing the 90s band, Color Me Bad. Wow! Yeah, so it's going to be a party. Well, it that's is a blast from the past. So much fun, <laughs> exactly. And right now we have around 250 tickets for our early bird special for just $100. So I would say get them now because it sells out every year. It really is the most fun party. So you have VIP and then you have uh, the early bird tickets. Exactly. So what can we get for VIP? I, I read somewhere I'd be hanging out with hippos. Exactly. <laughs> so you hang out in Hippo Overlook. You get to meet our world famous hippo, Timothy, and Uma, his grandmother. But you hang out in there and there's special restaurants, mm. special entertainment, and a lot of fun there as well. So it's going to be a lot of good food and music. I think my favorite thing of all time is seeing Timothy eat watermelons. <laughs> it is classic. He crushes those. He does it the best. Absolutely. So. And he's running for president right now. So oh, is he? make sure you follow him on social. He's got okay. a lot of updates. All right. We'll have to do that. Where can we follow him? <laughs> so at Timothy the Hippo, you can follow him there. But if you follow SAZoo.org or SAZoo in general, you'll see everything that we're posting. And Timothy's quite Quite the funny guy. <laughs> uh, now, where can we get tickets for Zoo La La? Go to SAZoo.org. And again, early bird special. Mm -hmm. Now's your time to get them. It's going to be a blast. Everyone goes. It's really fun. And you get to see Color Me Bad and Twig. Twig know, will be you there. You have to come by and say hi to Twig. And uh, what is the snake's name again? <gasps> Suki. Suki. Suki missed out on the action today. So he needs a couple of visitors. Cheer him up. <laughs> anyway, thank you both so much for being here. Let's